In Psalm 104.29, the psalmist looks the death angel in the face while thanking God for his sustenance. Verse 29 reads, You hide your face, they are troubled. You take away their breath, they die and return to the dust. This is the new cycle of life on planet Earth after Adam's treasonous act. All things have become mortal. All things, uh, but all things equally depend on God for sustenance and life. If our Creator were to hide his face, thereby producing the kind of consternation that one would have if support and protection were withdrawn and God was had turned away, our support system would be gone. Sustaining resources would fail and the angel of death would overshadow the land, rapidly harvesting those without the breath of life. On this side of the cross, at least for humankind, Jesus says in John 10, 9, I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and come in and go out and find pasture. A thief comes only to steal, to kill, and to destroy. I have come so that they may have life and have it in abundance. Some will argue if death is no more, how come there will be predatory animals on the new earth? The caveat is the new earth where there will no longer be predators. We read in Isaiah 11:7 that the cow will graze near the bear, the cub and the calf will lie down together, the lion will eat hay like a cow, and in Isaiah 65:25 that the wolf and the lamb will feed together, the lion will eat like a cow, but snakes will eat dust. In those days no one will be hurt or destroyed on my holy mountain. I, the Lord, have spoken. The new earth will not come until after the great white throne judgment, and it will be a place inhabited only by the righteous, with the restoration all creation, all creatures on the new earth, will again be vegetarians, for God has given us the plants for food, according to Genesis 1, 29 through 30. The angel of death will have been cast into the lake of fire along with Satan, his minions, and all whose names are not written in the Lamb's Book of Life. In Psalms 145, 9 through 10, 13, 15, 21, we see, God, we, we, we see that God loves his creation, has made plans for all his children and the lesser creatures to enjoy his eternal kingdom. The psalmist repeats the words in the previous passage in Psalm 145, 14, and 16. The Lord helps all who fall. He raises up all who are oppressed. His eyes look upon you and you give them the food at the proper time. You open your hand and satisfy the desires of the living thing. And if you are still a naysayer, then please read and recall the prophetic words in Isaiah 11:6. The wolf will live with the lamb and the leopard will lie down with the goat. The calf and the young lion and the fatling will be together, and a child shall lead them. Will you be among the righteous that will inherit a place on the new earth? If you are born anew, then you have been reconciled to our Creator.